guys. Now I'm back. Okay. Okay. Um. Good evening. So, mag-start kita ngayon sa mga vlogs natin. Okay. This time, yung gagawin ko para sa mga grade 6 under, what do this? Under module. Okay. As requested by some parents. Okay. With regards to their worksheet on their week 1 for the second quarter. Okay. So, um, Start tayo ngayon, ha? Para matulungan natin yung mga bata sa kanilang mga modules. Okay? Okay? Ayan. Okay. So, tingnan natin ito ngayon. What is the difference between the fraction as well as for the decimal? Okay? Kasi, actually, na-i-vlog ko na ito before. Pero, sa tingin ko, marami pa rin ang nahirapan. Okay? So, tingnan natin, ha? Kasi, do sa module nila for the grade 6. They have here the colon form. Okay. So, okay. Ay, okay. We have here the colon form. Okay. And then, on the other hand, they have here the, what is this? Uh, fraction form. Okay. So, on grade 6, this is how are you going to, to do this one. Okay, so what is the difference between colon form as well as the fraction form? Okay, ganito yun ha. So, dun sa, sa module ninyo, halimbawa, meron kayo dito halimbawang tatlong apple. Okay? One, two, and then three. Okay? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's make, let's make it six, Okay? is now 4, 5, and then 6. So, we have 6 apples here. Okay? So, dito, ilagay natin dito. 6 apples. Okay? So, fraction form ninyo, that is 6 over. Okay? Now, kung meron kayo doon, halimbawa ng aray. Uh, what do you call this? Pakita. Meron naman halimbawa siya na 2, 4, 5, Five uh, eggplant, okay? One, okay? And then here, two, and then three, and then here, four, five. Okay, so ang magiging proportion nyo dyan is kung ani mang apple, meron kang five na eggplants, so ang colon form ninyo would be six is 2, 5. So, fraction form is 6 over 5. Kaya Next, halimbawa naman. Meron kayo doong sample halimbawa ng... Okay, buray ko na to ha. Okay. Let's say meron kayo doong example ng tatlong chair. Okay. Tatlong chair. Tapos meron kayong dalawang table. Okay. So, ano ang magiging proportion nyo dyan? So, dito, meron kayo dito. 3 chairs is 2 2 tables. Okay. So, fraction form ninyo, that will be 3 over 2. Kanya. So, ganun. Ganun yung kanyang, ganun yung representation nyo sa column form as well as sa fraction form. Okay. So, let's say, limbawa naman daw, meron kayong books. Okay natin. Lagay tayo doon ng books. Let's say, ang books niya is uh, apat. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So, let's try here. 1, 2, and then 3, and then 4. So, ilan ang books nyo? 4. Okay? So, we have here 4 para sa fraction form. And then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have here 5 crayons. Okay? 1, 2, 4 then 5 So, ilan ang cranes niya? 5 So, ito ngayon sa Ito yung presentation natin Para sa in colon form And then in fraction form Okay So, tingnan natin ngayon ha? Uh, ha? Meron kayo ngayon doon na makikita natin ngayon na meron kayong uh, what you call this 
uh, aside from this pala, ipakita ko sa inyo ngayon, paano ba ninyo gagawin? Yun. Okay, ganito yan, ha? Pwede kasing sa inyong fraction form. Okay. Ang ganito ba kita? Okay. So, we have here in fraction form, Meron ko dyan na limbawa 1 over 4. Okay? And then here we have here 3 over 4. Okay? And then meron tayo dito halimbawa 2 over 6. So, ayan. Sa fraction form. Paano ngayon namin yan gagawa ngayon at iglo ng colon form? Okay? When we say colon form, yan yung colon, di ba? So, period here, period here. We call this colon. Okay? Now, tingnan natin siya ngayon. In colon form, paano ninyo ipapakita siya? Okay. Colon form. Okay. Ang one fourth in fraction form is one is two four. Okay. Dito sa three over four, ang colon form ninyo would be three is two four. Sa two over six, that would be two is two six. Okay, so yun lang yun. This is how we are going to present the in fraction form and then in colon form. Okay, bigyan ko kayo ng idea. Halimbawa, magtitimpla tayo ng gatas. Okay. Ang sabi niya, 1 is to 2. Okay, sabi niya, 1 is to, you, is to 2. Ano yan? 1, um, what do you call this? 1 tablespoon okay of milk okay isang kutsarang gatas para sa dalawang ounce ng water okay so ibig sabihin pag nagtimpla ka daw ng gatas kailangan mo ng isang kutsara ng gatas ihahalo mo sa dalawang onsa ng tubig Iba magtitimpla tayo ng, uh, what do you call this, ng, we're going to to make the milk of a baby. We need to put dalawang onsa ng tubig, okay? So, here is the feeding bottle. So, one, two, okay? Hanggang dito lang ang gatas, hanggang dito lang ang milk, pero ang tubig mo hanggang dito, okay? So, mas marami ang milk compared sa water. Kaya sabi niya, one is to two, Okay? Now, okay, paano kung let's say halimbawa, uh, dinamihan natin, okay, dinamihan natin. So, gagawin natin ngayon, let's say halimbawa, uh, kailangan natin ng uh, mas malaki, mas, ma mas maraming tubig. Kasi paano kung ang Paano kung yung gatas natin ay eh, aabot ng gusto nating mapuno? Kasi yung ititimpla natin hanggang dito lang eh. One, two. Gusto natin ngayon ng mas marami. So, what are you going to do? Okay. So, like this one. etong isang kutsara ng tubig. Ah, isang kutsara ng, ng milk pala. <laughs> okay. Ita times ko ngayon ng times four. Okay. One is to four. Ito ngayon, dapat ita times ko din ito ng 4. 1 is to 4, 2 is to 8. So, ibig sabihin, kung isang tasa ng milk, dapat sa susunod na gagawin ko, gagawa ako ng, ah, ah, ah isang tasa, I should say, sorry ah, isang kutsara ng asukal, ah, ng, <laughs> isang kutsara ng milk, 1 tablespoon milk, so I need to add, I need to make, 4 tablespoon of milk for me to be able to make 8 uh, for me to be able to make a what do you call this? an 8 ounce milk I need to put 8 ounce of water in 4 tablespoon of milk so 1 is to 2 is equals to 4 is to 8 pareho lang pala yun. yes, pareho lang pala natin lo opo, so ganito po yan ha so, let's say, limbawa, tulad dito. Sabi niya, 3 is to 4. 
ano ang kapareho niya. So, kung ano ang gagamitin nyo dito, okay, yun din ang gagamitin nyo number dito. So, let's say, you have this 3, okay, chu, chu, chu. Let's say, you have this 3, okay, we're going to make this 6, okay? 3 is to 6, so here you use 2. 3 times 2 is 6, and then 4 times 2, is equals to 8. So, ibig sabihin, magkapareho rin pala sila. Okay, so let's do it in the other way. Okay? Paano makita natin? Let's say, ba sa test ninyo, may lalabas dyan. 3 is to 4 is equals to blank. Ito ay magiging n is to 8. Paano ninyo ngayon gagawin yan? Okay? Ito, iti-divide din nyo. 8. Okay? 8 divide by 4. 8 divide by 4 equals to 2. This 2, ita times nyo dito. 2 times 3 is equals to 6. Itong n ninyo ngayon ay magiging n is equals to 6. Okay nga? So, 3 times 2 is equals to 6. 4 times 2 is equals to 8. Still, pareho yung ginamit yung factor. Factor 2. Okay? Okay nga? Okay. So, kids, pag guma, nagsagot kayo ng answer nyo doon sa test ninyo, ha? 1 is to 4 sa colon sa fraction form 1 over 4 fraction form sa colon form that is 1 is to 4 okay now bigyan ko kayo ngayon dito na ng, ng idea kung let's say halimbawa meron kayo halimbawa ang uh, lalabas doon ang halimbawa ng 5 is to 8 is equals to blank is to 40 Ayan. Meron kayo, halimbawa, 3 is to 7 is equals to blank is to, aha, uh, huh? 3 is to 7, blank is to 28. Paano namin sasagutin yan, Ate Glo? Okay. And then, let's say we have here, 6 is to 7 is equals to blank is to 42. Paano yan, Ate Glo? Okay, so sabi ka sa inyo, balikan ninyo yung formula bigay ko sa inyo kayo na. Kapag ganito, we have to 40 divide by 8. Dito kayo magdi-divide. Equals 5. Itong 5 na to, yun din yung gagamitin nyo doon. 5 times 5, okay. Okay, 5 times 5, that is equals to 25. Yun ngayon yung ilalagay nyo dito. Ayan. Then here, 28 divided by 7 is equals to 4 times 3 is equals to 12. Itong 12 na to, ito yung sagot nyo dito. Yan yung ilalagay nyo dyan. Okay? Ito naman dito. And then here, 42 divided by 6. Okay? 42 divided by 6 is equals to... Ay, no, no, no. It should be 42 divided by 7. Okay? 42 divided by 7 is equals to 6. Times 6 is equal to 36. You will put it here. Okay, yan. Okay. So, mga grade 6, okay, mama mi, if you like this video, okay, just sulat natin dito para mas matandaan, para mas makita. Okay? Kung nagustuhan po ninyo yung video na to, okay, please like, like it, Okay, and then subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Okay, and ay tanda natin nandi. Please like, please subscribe, and hit the bell. So pa natin do drawing yung bell. Gento na lang. Okay, please like, please subscribe, and hit the bell para makita po niyo yung mga bagong vlogs ni Auntie Glo na darating pa. And salamat po ng marami sa mga Patuloy na nagtitiwala, patuloy na nagsasubscribe. And uh, sabi ko nga pa sa inyo, we're doing these vlogs for us to be able, for us to be of help sa mga grade 6 students from elementary to grade 6, no? And uh, as well as sa mga nanay na nahihirapan. So, kung meron po kayo mga tanong, ipadala lang po ninyo sa aking messenger for me to be able to prepare kung ano po yung dapat nating i-lesson para sa inyo. Okay? Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye.